So last week we did a tech tip about a starter switch. Pretty simple stuff, but I thought about it afterwards and uh, there's more to that story that I want to share with you guys on this week's Tuesday Morning Tech Tip from Publicity Speed Shop. All right, so if you guys have been following the channel for any amount of time or if uh, you follow me on Facebook or any one of my buddies or, or, or whatever, you know you've heard me rant about parts stores, right? Usually the chain places, the discount joints, the one you got on every street corner, you know the ones I'm talking about, right? Usually you just, I, I, they, you know, they piss me off, right? It ain't like back when we were kids, you know, the guy that knew everything about everything when it came to parts, he'd open a book, he'd find everything, he'd tell you what you needed. He probably built a thousand cars in his lifetime or at least provided the parts for them, right? And he knew everything about everything, where to get stuff, you know, all, he had it figured out and he passed it on to you. And uh, yeah, you'd end up with what you needed. That was the end result, right? So, actually, it's kind of funny. So, this morning, I was watching DD Speed Shop. If you're not watching him, you need to. And he kind of did the same thing. The same thing I always did with rants. He had a good experience and a bad experience. And, uh, of course, the bad one pissed him off. And he talked about it. He didn't bad mouth, he didn't bad mouth anybody because he's a solid dude, right? But he talked about his experience. And... Um, he also talked about the good experience. And that's the one I want to share because I'm not trying to be negative, you know, but it's out there sometimes. And sometimes, and I'll tell you, Megan can vouch for this, I jumped to conclusions before I should. And this was a case like that. So we'll sit down. We'll talk about it. And we'll see where I'm coming from. So the story begins with me needing a starter switch, right? One of the remote little, you know, or depending on which one you have. And, uh, well, I had the trigger one, the plastic one. It was a piece of crap. Lasted for 30 seconds, never worked again. The switch itself was bad. So I uh, had to get a new one. Went all over the place, you know, I'm online, right? Look in, I... I, I I went online first, saw what places had the one I wanted, got there, they didn't have it. And this happened time and time and time again, right? So the last place I went to, um, I went in there, waited a while. It's more of an old style fart store, you know. Uh, and the guys in there, they're pretty good. I've been in there a couple times, and, and they're usually pretty helpful. So I walk in there. And uh, the guy says, oh, yeah, I got the switch right here. And he shows me the same one everybody's got, the cheaper one. I said, nah, man, I had one that sucks. Uh, I don't want to keep buying the same piece of crap. He's like, I get that, man. Let me see what I can find. He gets in the computer. He's like, this is what we got. This is the other one we got. I said, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. He's like, well, we don't have it. Nobody around here gets it. Our hub doesn't have it. I can order it, but you know, who knows when it's going to come in. So I'm, I'm frustrated, right? Stopped on my way home from work, and I'm just like, man. So I said, all right, man, I guess I'll look online and see what I can find. And he says, yeah, man, good luck. Now, I'm frustrated. So I take that as, yeah, good luck, dude. And I'm like, right? So I leave. I'm just, I gotta get out of this store. I'm pissed off. Let's go. I get in the truck and I'm sitting there and I'm like furiously typing Megan, right? I'm like, well, this place sucks. This guy sucks. Imagine that they don't have to part. This, you know, what the hell? Da da da. Hot riding's going to shit. Can't find nothing. I'm just, and she's like, I get it, babe. I'm sorry, babe. Calm down. <laughs> she's trying, and I'm just like, oh, I'm so mad. As I'm there, furiously typing away on my phone there's a knock on the window right and I'm like and it's the guy and I'm like oh, what does this guy want man so I haven't even started the truck yet so I can't put the window down I got no power windows right so I try to open the door he's in a way it's a whole awkward thing but he's like hey man I got this and he shows 
me this box. And I said, what am I going to do with this? And he says, the guys, you know, all the race guys, they all use these. They have them on their firewalls, you know, da 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 It withstands the heat, you know, current, electricity, you know, all. This is what you want. Um, but you can use this and make maybe make your tool. And I was like, man, I'm a jackass. I was so frustrated, I just left. And there was other guys in line. He was like the main guy working. He ran the back, got the part, ran out to the truck in the parking lot to tell me, hey, man, let me help you out. Maybe if I didn't get that frustrated in the first time, you know, like, here I am, just, ugh. and I turned around and walked out, he might have said, he was probably already thinking it, right? Well, however, I don't know how his thought process worked, but, you know, customer service, forget about it. This guy ran to the parking lot, you know, and uh, you don't see that all the time. You used to, and, and hopefully this guy is bringing it back because, yo, <laughs> I was floored. I thanked the guy a million times. Um, you know, we bought, and we, and we ended up, you know, just kind of talking for a little while afterwards, and I'll tell you what, I'll go back there, you know, without a doubt. I, I, I'm probably going to be one of the first places I go now because I know the guy cares. Whether he's there or not, I don't know if he's, hopefully he's the manager or he owns the joint or something, I hope, because he deserves it. Because nobody's doing that nowadays. Or well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just haven't ran into the guy enough. Maybe this, maybe every store has this guy. You know, let's, let's look at it like the glass is half full. Hopefully. I don't know. All I'm saying is I wish I would have waited to get frustrated. Actually, I wish I would have waited and I just wouldn't have got frustrated. And, uh... Maybe I said not, you know, some not so nice things in that text message to Megan about how this man performs his job because he's killing it. And uh, I'm gonna throw him a shout out. I usually don't like to talk about, uh, you know, stores or whatever, but Joe over there at Napa uh, on Three Notch, killing it, brother. If anybody knows him and you're watching this, give him a pat on the back over there. Go buy something off him. Dude, solid as they come. Thanks for watching, guys.